Hi there, this is Izzy. It's time for a little wintry update on the seedlings. So, I've brought four of them here to show you today. Not the Neofinitias, because maybe we'll have a whole Neo update at some point soon. But I just wanted to show you how these four species orchids are actually doing in my home. So the first one we've got is the Zygopetalum trist. So this is a very short little Zygopetalum that should have these lovely purple and brown flowers when it grows up. And when I got it, it had just these two pseudo bulbs. So as you can see, all of this bulb and all of this bulb are new. So this one is actually really enjoying how things are going. At the moment, I am being quite cautious with the watering because it's winter time, the medium's not drying out so much, you might be able to see a little bit of uh, white moulding on this. So I'm struggling to keep it uh, drying out quickly. But I think this one is going to have a good time in the new year. These two should mature fairly well. We'll see some bulbs swelling soon and we'll have a very nice healthy plant. I'm not entirely sure how far off maturity this one is, but uh, I think these will actually be full size or near full size growth. So it's doing well. And the next one in our lineup is the Lelia anseps. Now this is, I should have said this one's actually a hybrid. It's a species orchid, but it's also a hybrid between the alba form, the white form, and the typical coloured form. Now this one is currently in its dry winter rest. So I've taken this one away and I'm resting it along with the Neofinitias actually on the windowsill. And this year it has developed and matured this growth and it's also produced this growth which you can see is really quite chubby and strong. Um, at the moment I'm hoping it establishes a slightly stronger root system in the future but I think it is doing quite well and I'm looking forward to some new pseudobulbs coming off this one in the future. Another interesting thing about this pseudobulb is that it produced two leaves, which I don't think is very normal. But maybe it is something that seedlings do, maybe it's something about the size of the plant. But yeah, this one's doing quite well actually. Next up we've got the Angraecum rutenbergianum. Now this is my second Angraecum rutenbergianum. The first one I managed to <laughs> rot it very quickly and I this one I got straight out of the medium it was in, put it in a medium that I can cope with much better and so you can see it's a very very large loose bark medium. I don't know whether I can get this to focus on this Angraecum. There we go! But this one is doing quite well. I think, if anything, I've got it too dry and I'm underwatering it. So what I'm going to focus on this year with this one is providing a little bit more water. Now, why do I think that I've underwatered it? Well, if we look at the different growth sizes that we've got here, we've got some of the growths from when it was a ceiling. We've got this massive, massive uh, leaf out over there. And then we've got very short growths while it's been here. So we can see that this newest growth at the top is much larger and so it could be that a little more water is exactly what this plant needs. So I'll just try upping the watering in the new year and seeing how well this plant does. It's originally a Madagascan species, one that likes to grow in quite rocky dry environments but maybe I've just had it a little bit too rocky this year. Now the last one I wanted to update you on is actually the one that, uh, along with the Zygopetal and Trist, has done really well this year. So this is the Paphiopedalum insigne, quite a classic Paphiopedalum species, one that produces really quite striking brown and yellow flowers. I'm looking after this one because I want to give it to my mum when it grows up. Now. The leaves that it came to me with are these two arced ones at the bottom, but most of these leaves that it has now are new. So this one's doing really well. It's producing these beautiful, thick, broad leaves that are coming out at a very, very rapid rate. So what I'm hoping for 
potentially this year with this one could be new fans or it could just be a lot of growth so we'll just have to see but yes this one is enjoying conditions here it's growing really strongly really well it's a really nice healthy plant and as my one and only puffy bedlam, it's making me think that they're actually quite easy to grow. That's probably a lie. I have no other experience to compare this to. But uh, this one seems to be doing very well. Well, let's hope these grow well over the coming year. Been lovely to see you again. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Please subscribe to if you want to see some more. I try and bring out new videos every week. And it's been fantastic to see you. I hope you have a fantastic 2021. That's it for now. Bye.